Hello guys and welcome to the video. In today's video I will show you how to convert the PNG into a vector file in Illustrator and later in Photoshop. So let's jump straight into Illustrator first. First of all, before I start, I want to uh, tell you that this is not going to work on every image because some images are more complicated and there's going to be uh, a big side effect. Even on this image, it's going to be a side effect, which I'm going to show you later. So now let's start and select your image. And on top here, you're going to go and see uh, image trace. If it's not there for you, go window and then image trace and this little window will pop up. Now select your um, uh, image and go here at the mode and select color. If your image is black and white, leave it on black and white, but we have a color image, so we're gonna go and select color and then click trace. This will take a couple of seconds and you're done. Now we need to expand this. So on the top here, you're gonna see a button which says expand. If it's not there for you, go object and then expand. You need to have both object and fill selected and then click OK. And now you can move your vector, you can scale it and it's not going to use, lose any quality. But the downside is it's going to make your form uh, wavy like this. You can see that everywhere it's like, yeah, it's not perfect and that's the downside. And if you're working on a big project on a precise work, don't use this. But if you need it for your personal use, you can use this fast method instead of uh, creating your vector and yeah that's basically it now we're gonna go and jump into photoshop and uh, show you how to do it in photoshop as well okay so now we are at photoshop so let's start uh, first of all unlock your layer if your background is transparent it's gonna be even easier if not you need to select the parts that you want to vectorize uh, to do that i'm gonna go and select the magic wand tool uh, select my parts uh, if you want to select more parts just hold shift and then select them now we have them selected right click on your vector and then go uh, make work path and in tolerance if it's any other number than one just make it one or two i like to Put it on one every time so make it one click ok and now you have made your work path uh, now go and select the direct selection tool not the path selection direct selection tool go again on your vector right click and go create vector mask and here you can see that it created a vector mask to exit this just click enter and now you have your vector here Control t and you can see that it's not losing any quality and that's basically it thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this one uh, if you like it consider liking and subscribing and i will see you in the next video peace